What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Rusty and we are back at the Salvage Auto Auction Copart. I know that Copart was a little angry with me last time I was here and we are back. So we have a little bit of a story here. I came here to look at a certain car, but my eyes catching on some things all the way over there. I will show you that in a bit. We did come here for this Tesla. This is a 2014 Model S. It is a P85D as in when this has a D on it and this line that means this can go into ludicrous mode I believe I'm not an expert in Tesla but I'm pretty sure that's what that means this thing looks super clean it only has I think 75,000 miles and the only issue I have see obviously is the front end the frame rails don't look touched at all but I know that they are super flexible and they could be bent a little bit we do have some damage on the control arm we have damage right there this is all aluminum i'm pretty sure and the whole upper control arm this whole frame this skirt right here is pushed in but this frame rail doesn't look touched so in my eyes it looks like this uh, tesla went underneath a semi truck trailer that's what it looks like to me i'm not a hundred percent sure the only thing i'm worried about is this thing is not being sold by the insurance company i think it's not because it's not stated on copart no it's not looks like a third party seller has brought this to the auction the red flag because who knows what's actually wrong with this let's get inside and see if we can get this thing started how do i open this i think you press it oh we got juice very nice it's actually pretty clean for 72,000 miles doesn't look too bad we got that panoramic roof right there and it looks like it started why is this thing started i don't get it i have the key right here i think it's been started the whole time we have about 38 miles left on the charge let's see if it's gonna drive reverse oh it was moving for a second and then it stopped does it go into drive oh yeah it's moving it's moving but there's a big big clanking noise in the front i'm not sure what's that all about not sure if this is dual motor probably not it's probably just real wheel drive there is a weird clanking noise coming from the front but that's probably the suspension that's knocked out on that side other than that i mean it is pretty clean i'm not gonna lie guys this is really clean this looks like there's like three bucket seats right here it's pretty sweet looking i am very interested in a tesla i really want to own a tesla this thing right now well before this video comes out this car will be sold already but this thing is sitting at sixteen thousand. buy it now so that's actually a pretty decent deal uh, i don't know you can kind of buy these used at about 20 something so not sure if you feel like fixing it up if you have a bunch of parts this is a pretty decent deal for you teslas are decent but we're gonna go to something more practical like a regular cheap 500 dollars car something's going on with copart and iaa all auto auctions actually and you cannot buy anything anymore everything's going for super expensive and yes we are looking at this very old toyota solara this is a 2002 it is actually sitting right now at a donation section meaning this thing has been donated to charity or whatever in this organization went ahead and threw this thing on auto auctions just to get some money for it and that money they use for i guess you know other things they need but yeah this car is very old and very junky but it is a toyota it probably runs pretty good but it has been going through the cycle for three weeks now meaning somebody has been on it and they're not letting it go it's been going for 750 bucks 800 bucks and the donation center is not letting it go i'm not sure why but this thing is just old and it's definitely worth about 500 bucks in my eyes and then you fix it up here and there and if it runs good maybe you'll be able to sell it for 1500 but that's maximum so i don't know man people are crazy these days just for the fun of it we're gonna see if this thing starts wow it actually started I mean, that's a Toyota for you guys. Toyotas always start and they always run pretty decent. Maybe it has like a bad transmission or something, but it's definitely, definitely rolling. That's a good sign. Transmission is there. It could be lagging on a road. Who knows what's wrong with it? I mean, just these cars are going for way too expensive than they're actually worth. So we're going to pass on this one and go to our next one. I've seen something in that corner I haven't seen before. So we're going to go over there and we got a Mercedes here that just got smashed in the butt. Sucks for you, bro. 
I mean, I usually do not recommend buying Mercedes. If you guys already know my channel, I do not like German cars because they are just not reliable in America. Maybe in Germany or Europe, they're a little more reliable, but not in America. And this thing has just some flood damage. Maybe the sunroof was leaking or something, but there is mold and everything all over the place. Oh, whew, oh man, this stinks in there. There might be some haters on this one, guys, but we got a Miata. These 1990 to 1997 Miatas with the flip up headlights are one of the best if you ask me. Very classic looking and I've owned about three of these myself. It's so much fun. If you guys have never driven an old school Miata like this, I would recommend to. It's awesome shifting those gears on this tiny little go-kart. I guess the damage is this little thing right here and this little panel, I don't know if you guys know, costs about $300 and it's plastic and it just bolts up. I'm not sure why somebody is selling this this one it has 81,000 miles oh okay I know why it's automatic never buy an automatic Miata guys just uh, learn from the best and don't do it Mazda doesn't have a good reputation with automatic transmissions and I'm almost 100% sure that is the culprit for somebody that wants to convert this thing to manual that is no problem this thing looks pretty decently clean no rust or anything like that it is a Florida car and the paint itself actually looks very decent if somebody can pick this up for less than a grand just the parts alone is worth it and look what we have here we have the same lexus that has been sitting here for over seven months i don't understand how is this thing still here literally i've done a video on it maybe four or five months ago and it's been sitting here way before then sucks for whoever can't sell this one i do love these ls models i think they come from 2006 to 2011 and we do have another one right here this one is the 2007 LS 460 and this thing is just so beautiful. I love these cars. I do remember somebody telling me that these cars run over 200,000 miles. I'm not really quite sure, never owned one. I know that a lot of my, oh my goodness, 224,000 miles. Oh man, this thing is kind of rough actually. Uh, the seats aren't too bad, but it looks like somebody smoked in here. Yeah, I mean, this is a Lexus for you. It does withstand time pretty well. These cars actually still cost a pretty penny with 200,000 miles. Good luck getting it for like five, six grand. They still are worth something. Maybe it starts. Let's check it out. Yeah, I got nothing. Let me see the battery. Oh, yeah, look at that beautiful V8 and covered by plastic just like lexus loves to do that i don't know why and we do have a battery in here but oh this one's kind of loose let's see if we can get a little bit of juice out of this one nah no bueno so yeah I'm, I'm not really interested in this one either 200 something thousand miles i think it's the end of its life if somebody is interested in buying a lexus just like this it's a very good idea to get it with low miles they are reliable hopefully it's not gonna rain on me boys because we are outside and this is florida i am sweating and we have a porsche cayenne right here pretty sweet looking i think i just seen the forklift guy drop this off hopefully it's up for sale let me check it out just got my app out and i looked at the number and this thing says it's been sold sold four days ago my bad i'm not gonna look at it now but yeah it's been sold i guess rear end damage sold by geico pretty clean but 135,000 miles it's probably at the end of its life come on guys it's a porsche you know looks like we have another car that went underneath a semi truck I don't know why the bend of this hood reminds me of a car flying underneath a tractor trailer the actual trailer park because it's kind of you know this high and when the hood is bent like this it's you know usually the culprit and we're gonna go look at another miata that's sitting right there the red one this here is what we call a mazda s2000 this thing is one of the best cars i have ever drove myself because i used to own a silver and a white one this is not a mazda obviously for all you noobs out there this is a honda s2000 this thing is beautiful i did already previously check this thing out not sure what is going on with it but the uh, front struts are missing and this thing is just slammed to the floor there is just crazy amount of frame damage look at that rail right there and this rail also went i'm not sure if this thing is even worth fixing up but this thing kind of has low miles 90 something thousand the engine doesn't seem to be touched but who knows and it's just i mean it's just abused you can tell it's not to 
taken care of at all airbags pop this thing could be good for some parts the engine still might be good the engine itself is worth three thousand dollars somebody can buy this thing for fifteen hundred two grand and just just sell the engine for three we got some traffic and i feel rain guys i think i'm about to get rained out hopefully not we have come to our second tesla i told you guys i am here for my teslas and this thing just looks way worse than the other one this is a model 3 it looks pretty messed up this is one of the newer ones it is a 2018 with very little mileage and as you guys can see it is just tore up we have a rear wheel that is completely destroyed we got a little bit of bumper damage this little flap is this the charging port yeah it is i don't know what's going on with this is this supposed to click in or not sure what's going on with that has it got some juice oh yeah the model threes you have to do this well is it gonna unlock for me i don't want to break it it looks like there's uh some sort of parts in there but it's not it's not opening well it's okay it does have fourteen thousand miles we have some pretty significant uh yeah suspension damage probably some control arms frame is probably tweaked a little bit yeah a little bit it's not too bad full suspension and this thing should be back on the road no time i am here to look at one more tesla i just cannot find it i've been looking around everywhere i gotta go back in the office and see where it's at it should be playing in 14 days if you guys do wonder this is being sold by geico sometimes it doesn't state where it's being sold from and you can do your research and most of the time if you can't find who it's being sold from that means it's a third party and somebody just stuck it up an auction who knows what is wrong with it i can't even get inside of this one so i'm not really sure there is a lot of potential here at copart but if you guys all my dealer friends know that it is super hard to buy a car these days because prices are going wrecked dealer price because of the car shortage or whatever they make up online now well i don't know what i'm looking at here what is this some sort of eyebrows oh this is supposed to be some eyelashes on a car that's cool bro that's i'm guessing a woman you know drove this thing and wrecked it auto auction rebuilds and uh sam crack and all you guys i know you know what i'm talking about just the auto auctions are super crazy right now you cannot get a good deal anymore the good days of auctions are over where you can fix up a car and make four to five grand on it right now good luck fixing one up and trying to make at least a grand on it it's super difficult these days Ooh, we got another clean miata here well for all my my Miata haters obviously this is not clean uh, this is probably faded as heck and we got 200,000 miles is it manual oh at least it's manual I'll get a bit props for that I mean 200,000 miles boys uh, I'm pretty sure she's dead already who knows what else kind of issues this thing's gonna have other than sitting in a, at an auction yeah for all you guys I do love Miatas it doesn't matter if it's this gen if it's the first gen there's actually another first gen over there I don't think you guys are interested in that let's go look for that Tesla we're at the heavy duty section of this auction. We got some old Freightliner right there. We got some cars right here. And then we got a car right here. I have not seen it. I just seen it from far away. What is this, a Toyota? Man, this thing got burnt to crisp. Is that a six cylinder? Yeah, six cylinder. There is nothing left. I don't understand how Copart sells these cars. There's literally, I mean, I guess there's a wheel. This wheel is good. Is this a Toyota? No, it's an Acura. It's a MDX or RDX. Man, yeah, there's really nothing left. There's like a piece of this quarter, two back wheels. I don't understand. I bet this car is going to go for like 15 grand. Watch. It's crazy about these prices, man. I don't understand. This is a nice E Class, a E300. And I mean, I diss on, you know, Mercedes. <laughs> there's one thing about them that I love is the looks they know how to style a car inside and outside they are just wonderful reliability wise not so good at one point I'm pretty sure this car was a very nice car and now it's not bye bye and we have another burnt car I don't know why so much cars burnt to the ground pretty sure vandalism or something like that and you know from the front end i can already tell it's a toyota camry probably 2008 or 2007. all right guys i'm gonna go to the office and see where my tesla's at apparently that tesla is non-existent they don't know why it's at their database here but i think i'm gonna check out online and maybe it's on the other side there's two co-parts here so maybe it's at that one maybe i just misread something so i'm gonna try to go online and check it out oh we got hmm, we got a nice porsche right here yeah this porsche is marked not for sale because it's not ready for sale i checked on my app right here the copart app it's not ready for sale so technically i can't come up and look at it so we're just gonna leave this one here there is a weird little bag in there though i'm pretty 
sure it's for moisture protection in expensive cars. It's already filled with water. Oh man, we just hit a gold mine. Guess what car this is? We have a 2020 Chevrolet Stingray. Man, these things are so sick. I mean, this is one of the newest Corvettes and the engine is in the back, just like supercars. And then we have a Honda here, and then we have another Corvette on top of these stilts. I'm not sure what's going on here. Maybe this is for a showcase or something like that, but we do have damage in the rear a little bit. It's not too bad, just a bumper probably some other little things but man this stingray is so sexy i can't afford it but i know some of you guys can i didn't even know it but this whole car is fiberglass look at all the fiberglass on the door is the fender uh fender seems like it's metal but the door is fiberglass this is definitely fiberglass this is metal so you know this thing's pretty light probably can i even open this oh i can oh man she is beautiful Look at these bucket seats. Oh yeah. Technically this car is not up for sale. So technically I can't even open this door. I'm sorry, Copart. Would you look at that? This thing is totally fixable. This is no problem for somebody experienced, somebody that has a lot of money, obviously, and might get those Teslas right there. We'll see if I have enough money, you know, cause that money, money. So appreciate it guys for watching. Stick tuned to my videos. If you guys do like these Copart walkarounds, let me know in the comments. I will keep doing them if there's enough views, if there's enough smash likeies, you know what I'm saying? And and we will be getting back to work. Appreciate it, guys. Stay safe. Be blessed. Deuces.